as I take another sip of my special drink for you guys. Testing cameras, doing other things. I've been kind of busy. Sorry for the delay, but I've been busy working on different things like, you know, some 3D welding here. I think this color looks good with the, you know, the styles that I'm doing, the Amiga that I'm doing. I got the off-white one, like your friends do, Amiga Kit style. That's for the uh, RGB HDMI. And then, you know, I've been working on 3D printing, you know, Pi Storm RTG, put that on the back in the 2000, along with the original honeycomb that I'm doing, but that's not what today's video is about, as usual. So today, I'm going to do an upgrade to uh, Caffeine OS. I kind of lost uh, some of my settings. I, I should have listened to Captain the Chuck, but sometimes, you know, it ain't fun in Amiga land like that. So today, I have my 1200 here, and I got the 1200 right here, and I am going to do a little bit of an upgrade. So let me go ahead and see if I can shut this sucker off and start from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is a prism, prism two, as they say, let's see the focusing, there you go. And this actually is the Avaya wireless, but people don't know it's all the same as the, the gold, the gold world card. It's the same exact thing. If you have a flasher or a PC MCIA uh, adapter for Windows XP, as they say, you can do some flashing. You can update the firmware or the hex and start going faster speeds or doing WPA2 and such. But since, of course, I'm in the land of I like to suffer, I'm going to be connecting directly to this old Linksys. What is this? WRT 150N. It's tomato flashed. So let me go ahead and discuss my situation. I don't know why I turned it off early. I guess I was turning it back on. But first, I'll start off. I'll stick this inside again. Stick it inside. Starting up at 1200, I'll show you my main issue. Or what it was, what it is, what it will be. Oh, hold on, I'm going directly to VGA. Today I'm not doing any uh, screen capturing directly. By the time I get all that out, I won't want to record the video. So here we go, PyStorm 68. I actually did an update to this Caffeine OS the other day. It changed my settings. I'm hoping that my settings would change on their own, but I know it probably won't. I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. I'm thinking in my boot, something changed. Now, let me start by saying this. It's really not a real, real problem. See, I have the two drives that come with Caffeine OS, and then I formatted my regular drive on the 1200 to these three and I just renamed them. And actually it was uh, a Vampire uh, OS, the eight gigabyte, you know, the operating system. So Apollo OS, you know, I just brought it into, I started up the piece, the, the Amiga with caffeine and I just, I formatted it. Sorry, Gunther, sorry, everybody. Sorry, all those lovers to uh, the grade, uh, how do you call that system? Vampire. Because I was using my Vampire D the other day. I put it on my 500 and, um, and it's a four. I forgot the name of the version. And it was struggling to play one video. One video it was struggling to play. So as we all know, and I think I got to go to the real stuff, not stuff too. With the PyStorm, we can run multiple things. You struggle with one video, but on PyStorm, you know, 
Pie Storm, you can open up everything. You can you can run all type, you know. Sound off is you know for the purposes of they like to ban you. you. You don't get that kind of you know power out of the the four or the vampire, unfortunately. I guess you can get it out of the new uh, 1.8, 1.9 mini MIG from Canada. So, back to my problem. I know that was kind of off course. So, in games, as I show all, I do have Turbo Sprint here. And this was working. Now, it could be working and maybe I don't see it. Maybe I have on the wrong... Um, video adapter but before when i was running turbo sprint now this is just an iso you double click on it in caffeine os now you got turbo sprint if you want you can sit here and you know you you, you, you can enable every drive if i want i could put that in there and, and next thing you know i you know we, we could we could run everything we we we, could, we we can open up all these all these drives so the question is, you know, am I just going to use Caffeine OS and, and be happy? Or am I going to kill myself and try to overpay once again for something like uh, a 2091, you know? And oh, wait. Oh, no, that's my PC emulator. Oops. It's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. Apologize for the mix up. So are you going to overpay? overpay for something like that, that's not even gonna get the speed that you can get on your Pi Storm. I know everybody likes to use it the real way. I mean, I, I have the real way and I use the Pi Storm most of the time. So the problem is I go to Turbo Sprint. It's working fine before. I'm doing the chip RAM. It finds a chip RAM, but look, it, it checks the available RAM twice. Or the chip ram twice three times it was supposed to move on but it goes i get stuck my videos lost i'm lost in the mix forever 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 this was running just fine before i did a caffeine os update there is another caffeine os update i still think i know how to correct this issue but this is what i'm troubleshooting today if the video becomes too long then I might just end it, part one, then I'll do a part two. But for now, I'm going to do an update to the Pi Storm. So let me control AA. First, let me take out this. Well, it's really not going to matter on this OS. Hold down, control AA. Amiga, Amiga for a hot minute. It's going to reboot if I like it or not. Now I get control of my video back. I'm going to scroll back over to HDMI. Now on the new Pi Storm update, it's not necessarily going to enable the chip RAM or to check the RAM. Ugh, it's happening already. Starting from scratch. No editing today. Starting from scratch. 10 seconds. So I'm pretty sure now I'm confident that that got stuck when I was able to play that Turbo Sprint the way I did at the arcade when I was a little kid, but I just kind of just wanted to make sure that the CD-ROM emulation was working. So we're back in Pi Storm again. Here we go. Give it a few more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hopefully one. Finish. Always let it finish first. So you're supposed to be able to up here, go on to network and, you know, uh, automatically enable that boot. That doesn't work for me. So what I ended up doing was setting up the internet, going into, oh, actually, it's not even there. One second. Actually, it's in system. It's either prefs or system. So the system network miami this is where all your defaults are now i'm talking talking 
specifically about Caffeine OS. So I basically made a default for Prism 2. That card was Prism 2 Wi-Fi, but it's not going to auto boot. I'm used to, previously used to, using something like Windows 3.1, maybe 95, the first version, where you don't automatically connect to nothing. You, you, you have to have your TCP IP stack, which means you have to have another software for you to connect online. I have this DX set up. I set it up in uh, here. I made a default. I saved it for Prism 2. I saved it as a regular DX. I copied it and sent it here. So this is, in essence, just a copy of what's inside that folder. But I have it here, Miami DX. So I connect to Miami DX. It minimizes itself. Or should I say icon? It does an iconify. I believe that's what it is. I'm going online. This is how you can do it with uh, Caffeine OS. I'm online. Right, gonna iconify. You're not done yet. To really get this this system to recognize that uh, you're there, you're gonna go to network and online. Now it's starting the stack, which is already active. Fetching the net configuration, doing a loop is my IP address. It's not connected to anything else. This is not really flashed properly. Whichever. Online. Main focus of the video. So check for updates. Now I've checked for an update already. I just haven't run it. So let's see what we got here. This is actually uh, a copy of the OS that from like 923 or whichever, a little bit back. Wow. So now your captain has upgraded you tonight. 25 to 926 of caffeine OS storm. Now keep this in mind before you mess around and hit this, it's going to change your settings for let's see devices, mount, user fat, EMU 68, which you're booting up with, and uh, boot command line. My command line was destroyed, removed, deleted. Whichever. I tried to make the changes I thought were going to bring it back to what it was, but it didn't. I apologize for the fan. Let me go ahead and do this update. Now, I doubt this is going to fix my problem. I really can't get more than 500K with this, but in essence, I don't think I need more than 500K. That was a backup battery. Apologize about that noise. We're gonna continue with the update. So I will relabel this video, how to update your Pi Storm, and hope that your update will give you the solution. Now it tells you here, this is what's gonna happen, as is VC4 tweak. Video core is gonna be updated, okay. Identity, they're gonna add Galaxy in the game, Bagman the game, iGame, it's gonna update. Jukebox Adventure, Blues Brothers, I think I already have all this stuff. So it's really changing one or two things. Okay, this might be actually different. Replace the WAZB 3D library with Claude's optimizers and some small fixes. Yeah, before you do this, if you care about your system, that's why I have these extra three drives. It's basically on the 1200 itself. So I can save whatever thing I got going on. And also if I go way down in system, I have installed the updated Picasso on here. 3.4. Thanks a lot, guys. That was another thing I was going to mention. I don't know if I ever mentioned that before. If you have some problems or some video problems on caffeine, you can buy the Picasso 96 from iComp. And after you install the Picasso 96, you basically want to install it and not do any changes to the video cards because it will add and screw with resolutions. And if you do screw with resolutions and, and mess around, 
you know, you can always karma select ambience and click an ambience and pretty much bring your settings back. Because I did install that update for Picasso 96 and I wasn't able to pull anything off screen. So I had to select the ambience. Sorry if off topic. Here we go again. Go ahead and hit me. Here goes the update. Remember, this is a short video. Hopefully, it's a short video. It checks for the CRC. If the CRC does not match, it would tell you to uh, re-download and try to reinstall it again. Thanks to Schultz. Thanks to uh, everyone else out there, including uh, the captain, the Chuck. For creating this uh, operating system so I don't have to do too much work I'll probably try uh, Amy kid or whatever the other kits are let's hit a reboot I doubt that it's gonna fix my issue but you know you never know in essence you can always just copy the EMU 68 to your SD card and just do not copy over your command line text or any of your boot settings. And I re-enabled this boot test. I thought it was gonna fix that problem with the um, drive I was emulating, the CD I was emulating for the game. So when I'm done, hopefully, da -da 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 -da. 926 is installed. You ever get that feeling you're recording and you're running out of space? Well, I didn't get that feeling. I just ran out of space. So I, in essence, as I went back to look at the videos and scrub through and tried to create this video, I realized I never showed how to get the connection created at first. So to start your WLAN prefs, as you would say. So you go to network. WLAN prefs at the bottom, set SSID and WPA. You're going to install for real and choose if you're using WPA or WPA2, the top one, WEP2, the middle one, and the bottom one, no encryption. Now, if you're doing the new updates to Caffeine, you shouldn't really have to mess with Prism and install Prism or anything else in your system. I installed so many different things. That I'm not even sure what Prism 2 I'm using right now or network card. Uh, driver so that would help you get online before you go start you know my mbdxing and hitting online and all that other stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative and uh let's keep amiga rolling peace